Hey, hello YouTube. Uh, just a, another another one of my real quick videos. Um, I've built something here uh, that I've been testing for a little while, um, but I just want to highlight a problem with using used cells or cells that have been discharged beyond the point that they should be uh, recharged. And that fact is you sometimes get a duff cell. Now, despite my um, very thorough testing, thorough, our testing of every cell in this pack charging and discharging five times we still have one weak cell and that weak cell has uh, hampered my tests to uh, hampered my ability to test this pack as I want to I've done um, three test videos on this pack which uh, I'm hesitant whether I should put up or not um, because um, although this is a four 4C pack, 4 cell pack in series and uh, 28 in parallel, we have one duff cell. And that one duff cell left over uh, a period of a couple of weeks uh, could potentially have destroyed um, one set of cells in parallel. Now to show you what I mean, uh, I'm just going to uh, quickly run through how this pack is wired uh, to start off with. Obviously, we have one, two, three, four sets of cells in series, and each set of four is seven in parallel. So seven, fourteen, twenty-one, twenty-eight. Did I say twenty-eight? I can't remember. Anyway, so that's that's all um, series up and paralleled up. Mm -hmm. uh, we have two wires, uh, two brown wires, thick brown wires. We've got one here and one here, so we can either take off um, twelve volts or sixteen volts. But, as a number I've just thrown in the air so um, there's two sets of balance leads on this there's a set for three cell and a set for four cell and likewise we have one neutral or negative connection uh, and two positive connections one for 12 volts one for 16 volts so we can test the capacity um, of the cells uh, either taking three three cells in series or four cells in series and using a different um, test to try and pull the same sort of current out of the pack. Now, uh, the problem is one of these cells, uh, I think, oh, where's the negative connection? I think on this pack here uh, is Duff and uh, over a period of two weeks it has uh, discharge, discharged the entire uh, set of cells in parallel. So when I plug in one of these cheap um, cell detectors, um, it, it, <laughs> it shows a voltage well below what it should be. So I'm just going to wait for this to reset and I'm going to show you. So all is 12.3, cell 4.1, 4.2, number 3 is 5.53 volts and point and cell 4 is point <laughs> 4.1. So one of these cells is duff and has discharged the entire thing down below uh, a volt. So this entire pack has got to be split down again, and this is this is one of the problems with using U cells uh, or secondhand cells from laptop cells. You you're going to be forever um, trying to find the duff cell, and uh, I I have a couple of I'm a man of many packs. I have many packs of eighteen six fifties doing various different things. Um, so if I had them all in one block then I'd be doing this a lot more than I should do. And it's making me think that I should um, go about this in a different fashion. Uh, I don't think individual cell fuses would uh, would um, find the duff cell. It wouldn't. The only way I could think of doing this is, is, is by buying the, um, the modular 18650 cell holders and that is going to make things extremely expensive uh, to the point that I may as well just say forget doing the used cells, buy some new ones get some new ones, wire them like this you shouldn't have a problem for a year but yeah, so that, that would completely destroy my entire ethos of me making these videos so I, I, I've glued this all up I've filled it full of hot glue, yes, so it's going to take me a while to get apart I also did quite a job on soldering them together. So, I know it's in this set here. So, <laughs> I've got to start uh, by 
to get in the middle. It couldn't be the one at the end, could it? If it was the one at the end, it'd be fine. But no, so if anyone's got any idea of the easiest possible way that I could get the duff cell out of this pack or locate it, um, m my thinking is I'm going to have to disconnect this pack, desolder them all, charge them all back up, um, leave them for a week, see which ones discharge themselves see which ones lose voltage and exclude them from the pack again and uh, start again either start re-recording all of my tests or just run with a three cell pack and uh, do the tests on the three cell pack and then once I got the four cell the fourth pack back up and running at the capacity that I've designed it to be from these used cells then we can then start uh, testing the four cell pack but my whole idea was I'm trying to do one test at 12 volts, one test at 16 volts, obviously dropping the voltage down and see if we get, obviously we will get more capacity out and see if there's a, any sort of correlation between the, uh, oh big word, correlation between the outputs and the number of cells we got. See, how, see what efficiency we lose by having more cells and dropping the voltage down or having less cells and stepping the voltage up. Anyway. Enough of a ramble, that's uh, six minutes thirty so far, so I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna leave this pack until Christmas when I can actually strip it all down and find that duff cell. So yeah, thank you very much for watching, please subscribe, comment, rate, I haven't, I haven't spoiled the spice because my whole the whole point of doing this video, these videos was to have everything ready and then put up a video every couple of days uh, in a series rather than as and when I get time. So yeah, thank you for watching. Please subscribe, comment, rate. Don't forget to uh, like the Shedlin Productions Facebook page where I'll be putting up lots of photos hopefully very soon. And uh, yeah, I'll see you later. Cheers.